Milky puppy. This is one of the black ones. Stuffed himself so full of milk. He's now got it coming out of his nose. <laughs> Another Viking. Come here. There we go. You little beauty. There you go, show everybody how handsome you are. Mummy's just cleaned your bum, so you're all wet. She's a good wet mummy. Little <laughs> little Oh, this is a good girl, Monica. And chat. Yes, he's got a clean bum now. They're doing really well. Very fortunate we asked the little girl a couple of nights ago. She was, um, I'm sure she, well, she had a cat pallet. I could see it. I don't know whether the vet checked or not, but there was definitely one there. And she just wasn't gaining weight. And then she started to get crook. I gave her medicine, obviously, but it doesn't do it. Like, um, some people call it fading puppy syndrome, but if they've got a calf palate, they can't drink and swallow properly. So, it's a shame. But these are all busters. This one's good. He's a little boy, too. And we've got five little boys left, Monica. They're beautiful. Lovely babies. <laughs> it's funny, there's so much going on. We've got the two boys here, Manny and um, Bernard. And they keep chasing the cats. And then we've had visitors for three days. So I'm amazed she still loves them. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Upside down one there. Upside down, Bobby. Monica's tired. She comes out, don't you, and helps chase the cats sometimes. Yeah. Been up the garden. Sold a few rabbits. I think there's one sold going next weekend. Yeah, we sold a few chooks as well. Because I don't need that many chooks. I've got nine or ten of the big girls. Two new ones that are coming on like four months old. Three silver wind ups. One of them is the one I call the crazy girl. Um, well, she's gone broody again, so I don't know whether she's going to hatch any. And um, what else we got, Monica? Big cockle. Cockle's mean, yes, too. <laughs> it's that oxytocin going to work, isn't it, Bab? Weepy dog. <laughs> Cutie. Little fatty. One of the black boys is gone. Well, he's here, obviously. So he's got a good home to go to. And I think I'm going to keep a black boy. And if someone else wants a black brown boy, well, there might only be two available. We'll see. I kind of wanted a black girl, but. I won't have a boy soon because Arthur's got another six months or so to go up to his job and then he's properly retired. But I've got a black boy coming down from Melbourne when these two nutcases go home. And um, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Anyway, the black boy's hyperactive apparently. But we'll see. He might be a good daddy. Well, he is good at doing the job, let's put it like that. So I don't know, I might mate him to Kaylee, because Kaylee's quite small for a puggle. So, and he's small too, he's smallish. <laughs> Funny kid this. She had an egg again today. She likes her eggs. Get off my baby. Your turn, Monica. <laughs> Bye, 
Let me go get him up some cakes and some sushi. I'm starving. <laughs> okay. Say bye bye, puppy. Bye bye. See you in a couple of days. <laughs> they nearly got their eyes open when I came. Maybe I had to chase you then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll see you then.